Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Ashen. Look at the progress that this town is taking on. Absolutely wonderful. Seems like there might even be a lot more to explore. But before we get too deep in that, I do want to complete some more side quests. Now, it doesn't look like Isla has anything else for us. She's just sitting there playing her lovely harp. We did complete Vorsa's quest, at least for the time being. We did hunt down that large Einar and got the tail so she could investigate some of those, or I guess the fluids that were inside to see if it was something that she could use to help cure Batarin and the others with the illness. So let's head down here and see what other quests we might be able to pick up. I like the chops of this town you're setting up. Reckon I'll stick around for a bit. Before I get too comfy though, there's something I need to sort out. The pass to the Whispers is open, but my tribe still haven't come through. There was meant to be an escape, but I reckon it got trampled by those listener thugs again. Garoron's kin, see? They got me tribe wrapped up tight in their chains. We've got to find Granny Nella and ask her what happened. She'll be in Hillside, somewhere. Well, my apologies. I called that other woman Isla, and this, in fact, is Isla. By the way, Something that was also pointed out to me in the comments. Thank you so much for everyone who is kind of not spoiling the game, but giving me some more information. Whosever quest you have active for, in this case, I have Isla, that is going to be your companion if you have AI companions enabled, which I do right now. I'm actually really enjoying having them accompany me. But before we set out to go find Granny Nella, I do want to, well, find out the name of this individual up here. And then I want to also talk to Joe Kell. Let's see. My apologies. I called you Isla. What is your name? Strange. It seems as if humans are somehow diminished by their time in darkness. I was not this tall when... That is Amara. So we have Amara, Isla. We have Vorsa. Of course, Badran over there. And Jokel should be right over here. And yes, he does have a quest. Now let's take a look at the map, though, and see where is this quest going to take us. Pretty far down into Einarden's reach. All right, Joe Cal, do you have something more local? Thanks for helping with Vorsa. <laughs> I hope Bataran doesn't mind us asking her to come. Maybe we can help her find a cure. I would hate to lose him just as the light has returned. Ah, still haunts my dreams. Now he urges me to find our father, Vaughn. He and Ahu were very secretive about where they were going. Ahu's map is our only clue. There's a mark on the map at the Eye of the Needle. I think we should start our search there. Okay, so actually I just turned in a quest. Mods of the Flame with Jokel. I got some extra health and I did get another talisman. I do want to go look at that. And this, I think, might be a little bit closer because it should just be, yes, it's down in Eye of the Needle. I think this is the one that we'll tackle for now. For now. Anything else we want to do other than check this talisman? I think that ought to do it, but let's see what we just got. Lesser Vigor. Your health is increased slightly. It is only a 2% bump. That is not very good. Now, Respite might be okay. What do I have? I have increased stamina, but that's only 2%. I would probably rather have a 10% increase in my stamina, stamina regen. So let's unequip that. Let's put on Respite. And what else? Drifter. Drifter is good. I like Drifter. Amity, I will have a companion, and then, hmm, balance. You gain a stun bonus while wielding a lantern. That could actually pair really well with the spiked cudgel that I have been using. All right, well, let's go over to our Diasora and head as close as we can to the Eye of the Needle. See if we can track down Jokel's father, Vaughn. And I just realized I think I actually may have overshot where I need to go because I don't know that I can make it back here, can I? Hmm. Possibly. Possibly. Let's see if we can. This is the eye of the needle right here. But then if I try to go to the right, I'm afraid that maybe, just maybe I won't be able to make it back. Okay, we're, no, I guess this is working. And we even have an item down here that we didn't find before. So let's drop down. And what do we have here? A small scoria stash, very nice. I probably should have dropped some items off at my stash because we are a little bit heavy. Oh, careful. All 
right, so far so good. Very nice. Excellent job, Jokel. And I know that there's a spear thrower right around here. One-shotting them with ease. That is just climb up. Okay, I think we're actually heading in the right direction. Loving this Okoto's Guile. That extra damage really, really seems to be making all the difference right now. Scanning surroundings, looking for any any lost items. Ooh. That enemy was running off probably to lure me into a trap, I would imagine. Back up, back up. I saw the spear thrower. I'm going to go after the spear thrower next. Oh. Good thing they die in one hit. Otherwise, I was going to be in trouble there. There we are. Because I was out of stamina. Broken fanged axe for taking a bite out of one's enemy. I am now officially full. That could prove to be a problem. Crafted in the stormed runes to represent the head and prominent canines of an Einar. Okay, that's pretty neat. Very low damage. Crit hit chance is 20%, though. 20%. Just slightly lower than my double-sided axe. Hmm. I do like that. I do like that. Oh, dodge a little bit. A little bit too early. Certainly heading in the right direction. I bet there's an item hiding behind this wall. Oh, watch the Einar. Nice, good combo there. I am enjoying this cudgel. Certainly am. Ooh, the hushed remains. Small scoria stash. I can always use these scoria stashes to free up some inventory space if I really need to. The problem is it then puts me at risk. Oh, puts me at risk for actually losing all my scoria. And I am accumulating quite a bit. So what do we have here? Definitely a large area that I have not explored. Lots of nooks and crannies. Oh, he found a spear thrower. You dealt with her very, very easily. What do we have here? Oh, actually it looks like Vaughn is just over here. Oh, nope. Nope, that's not Vaughn. That is just possibly what remains of Vaughn. Hop down, hop down. Get ready for the... For the attack and oh I was hoping to just get that charge attack off as he dropped down but and what do you have here broken barbaric axe hmm I cannot take it we're gonna have to let's see let's use the scoria stashes all of them if I'm gonna be sitting on over 8,000 scoria a little bit scary Savage tool for savage desires. The barbarism of the Darkling Canyons now echoes throughout the land. The Darkling weaponsmiths are growing disturbingly proficient. Bites like an Einar too, says Vorsa. I forgot that I didn't read that last time. And what do we have? Bond's notebook. It's an artifact. Let's take a look at that. In fact... We also didn't read this last time. Once tamed by ancient Lothyrians as hunting companions, the hounds fled into the darkness when Lothyrus fell. Lothyrian hounds thrive in both darkness and light, finding easy prey in deer and even the occasional vagrant. What a delight to discover our loyal hounds still prosper. Perhaps I can persuade Vorsa to find me some pups to raise, says Amara. Written in high Lothyrian, Vaughn's writings are decipherable by very few in this beshadowed age of ignorance. My family treasure the arts of read and write. You'd be surprised what you can learn from the pages of another's life. And already it wants me to return to Vagrant Rest. I think we can do that, except let's take a look at the map here. I think this place might be worth a little bit of a look. Can I get some assistance here, Jokel? It appears that I can. Thinking maybe there's some items hidden up on the wall here. And if not, there most certainly should be. Looks like I could drop down. There's an item there. I don't know. Do I have any more cravens? I don't have any more remnants. I could buy some now that I'm fairly flush for Scoria. 
The question is, how badly do I want to get all the items, or should I come back? I'm thinking I should just come back. Unless I have an easy way to get back up here. Ooh, solitude. We're not going to spend a lot of time here. Just a quick gander. More of these meditating, glowing statues. Nothing hiding in the cliff faces. Cinder's view, so we're now just above Cinder's view. A lot of places where enemies could be hiding, but that also means lots of places that loot could be hiding. Ooh, if I fall down there, I'm going to slide all the way down. I do see some items, though. Oh, it's always so tempting. You know what? Let's do it. Let's start exploring because any one of these could be a Craven's Remnant, which means I could just fast travel straight away. Okay, let's climb up. Let's see if I can't jump just in case. Nothing. No enemies. So far, nice and safe. And what do we have here? We have a large scoria stash. Ooh, okay. If the medium was 2,500... Uh-oh. Not, not where I was hoping to fall, and I cannot climb that hill. Oh, bother. Right. Can we loop back around at all? This plane is far too open not to contain something dangerous, possibly core of enemies. Okay, we have these. I hear what these are called. But I'm almost certain we're going to have a core of enemy here. I bet as soon as I get close to here. Or not. And I can't even use that. Oh, no. Just kidding. Just kidding. We are possibly in trouble. Let's deal with the smaller enemies first. Be careful. Back up. Back up. And actually, Corb has done a phenomenal job almost killing this enemy. There we go. Got the Corb. Well, and that was just a small scoria. Bit of a shame, really. All things considered, that they lured me into a trap with such a, a worthless piece of loot. Well, let's see how much this does. Oh, 10,000 handpicked by the king himself. Only the noble houses of Lathyrus were wealthy enough to gather this much scoria. According to father, our family once owned an entire estate in Lathyrus. I wonder if this would be enough to buy it back. Well, I did just use it, so uh, my apologies. And we do get that in return. Well, now... Oh. That was another Corb. That was another Corb. They're not too bad, when, you know, as long as I have Jokel with me. More Einar. Oh, it would be nice. would be nice to find a Craven's Remnant, but at this point, I'm pretty close to areas I've already explored, so I'm not going to find too much, except I did miss this. Maybe I can climb up those ruins with Jokel's assistance. I promise that if I can find a remnant, I will just be getting right out of here. Spearhead. And I'm actually going to have to use this Scoria. Let's deal with this enemy. Oh, very nicely done. And what do you have? Small Scoria stash. Okay, worth another 250. I'm over 20,000, or just about over 20,000 Scoria. What's it even spend it on? I guess I could probably upgrade my Gord some more. Okay, now, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. Maybe over here to the side. Some clever jumping. Come on. I'm thinking no. Oh, actually. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, all the way down. All right. A little bit of skiing. Never hurt anyone. Well, I guess I'm just going to be making the run back. At least until I can get to one of the travel stones, which actually, not too far. Just over there in Cinder's view, over to the west. Make our way there, then we can just zip right on back. Ooh, I don't think I've actually spent too much time looking up at the skybox, but there is some really interesting stuff up there. Ooh, that was some good, good damage and good stun. 
Nice. That went very well. And I feel like I had something to do about that. Ooh. I don't know if I've been into this camp. Okay. Nice and quick like. Uh-oh. I don't have my shield equipped right now. Ooh, this is a lot of enemies. Careful, careful. Let's knock some guard away. Get my lantern back out for that stun. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Just trying to dodge. There we are. There's a good chance there's gonna be some loot in this building. And I thought I saw something up on the wall. Not quite yet. What do we have here? Got it. And... Ooh, another weapon. Goodness gracious. Another axe. A mauling axe. Crit chance 17%. Medium stun. Well forged and balanced. This axe chops through wood and bone with equal brutality. Weapon is just another name for tool. Here's my issue right now. And perhaps with crafting mechanics later on, it's going to become more prevalent. But I'm not seeing any uniqueness to the weapons. I'm not seeing any real reason to use one or the other. I mean, minor differences in damage and stun and crit chance, but an axe seems to be an axe for the most part. Hopefully, as we get later on in crafting, it'll become more apparent, but finally made it back to the Traveling Ritual Stone. Let's head back to Vagrant's Rest and see what else Jokel has for us. Okay, so, return to Vagrant's Rest. Jokel should be just over here waiting for us, I would imagine. He sure is. Alright, Jokel, so now that we found out that something happened to your father, what else do you have to say? I think my family must be cursed. My father, my brother, and now me. Let me see what my father wrote in his notebook. I need to understand this misery. So, it is as I feared. There was a curse placed upon our bloodline. Vaughn doesn't say what the curse entails, or what our forebears did to deserve it. Vaughn writes of a wraith, an ancestor of ours. Her name was Kala, and she lived by the sea. He thought she might hold the secret to breaking this blood-bound affliction. My father and brother died trying to save me from an ancient curse. Now, it's up to me. If I ever have children of my own, I want them to be free of the sins of our ancestors. Wraiths often linger in a place that was once important to them. Kala is a fisherwoman, so maybe we should look for her along the shore of the Whispers. Okay, so we're looking for Kala along the shores of the Whisper, but we did get another relic. Now I am curious, what does it cost to upgrade my gourd some more? 5,750 seems very, very much worth it, and I don't really have any other reason to save my scoria except i could go upgrade some weapons tell you what why don't we do one more and it still just goes up in scoria which i could actually afford yet another one but i haven't needed it yet so before we go and find kala which we will be doing here momentarily i want to go and check the forge and i need to stop by this dash but i want to see what else i can upgrade i know that i am requiring some items for a few of these but also do you sell anything else yet There's Okay, so Craven Remnant, ooh, may want to pick those up. I may want to pick one up. I can't actually sell any of these. I wonder if I can store crafting materials, because if I don't need them now, what's the point? But I can get spearhead, speckled mushrooms, all right. Let's see, what can we upgrade? So the spike cudgel does need more runic axe. I could get this up to forge, and that is a massive amount of damage. I am having fun with that. Okay, tell you what, I think we're going to go for runic axe. Still have enough. Let's run and drop some stuff off and then buy a craven remnant or two so we can make our way back nice and quickly. We have lots of items here that we just don't need at this time. Let's see. We're not using this right now. In fact, let's get rid of all the weapons. 
that we aren't using. And also, can we? Yes, we can store that as well. I don't know that I need a bug. I will keep the spears on me, but I think that is where we'll leave it. So the last thing before we go buy some Craven Remnants, let's see what our new talisman is. Second win, your stamina cost to sprint is reduced. Minus 50%, I like that. I would almost say that is arguably better than the respite. 10% stamina regen versus 50% less stamina when sprinting. Or what else? Drifter up to 25 max health. That's not that great. That's not that great. Damage reduction up to 10% is pretty good. I like the stun bonus while wielding a lantern. Tell you what, why don't we actually get rid of Drifter? and use second wind. So we'll actually use stamina regen and second wind, which I think could be pretty cool. Yeah, look at how quickly, or actually how slowly rather, that goes down. I could have talked to any of these individuals. Let's talk to this one. Let's buy, oh, three. I'm happy with three. And actually we're gonna buy some sapotes. I like having these on me. There we go. In fact, no, nope, no, nope, we're a little bit short. We'll buy some more sapotes. One more for nice even 10. Oh, you can only hold nine. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I do want to get those off of my hot bar though. So we'll replace that with the cricket. I don't want to accidentally fast travel. And let's take a look at the map. We are, ooh, oh, that's down there. Oh, that's so far down there. So actually, Isla's quest is going to be a little bit closer. Have I been in that cave right there, the gullet? I'm not sure that I have. Tell you what, we're going to run there. And I can switch quests at any time between Isla's and Jokel's, but I want to run down to the gullet and see if that's a cave I can go explore. Because I'm truly not sure if I have or not. This game. I have talked to a number of you about this game. Several of you are playing. Some of you are waiting for the Steam release. Uh, in case you haven't heard, right now, the Epic Games Store. And yes, I do understand that there is some, some concerns and some almost controversy surrounding the Epic Games Store. But they do have a one-year exclusivity for PC. So if you are waiting... I completely understand, just understand as well that it might be a little while before you're able to play this on Steam. Item up there. This is going to allow me to do a lot more sprinting attacks, which is fantastic. Alright, loop around and deal with you. There we are. Now, where was that cave? So I go through this needle and then off to the west or to the right when I'm facing that direction. But I do have this right here, which I can just should be able to carefully climb up. Oh, 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 careful. And one more. Oh, I can actually get it right from here. Another axe, another cleaving axe. Forged during the height of Lothirian metallurgy. This axe is still as strong as on the day it was hammered out on the anvil. Lothirian steel. You simply can't beat it, says Jokel, which is funny because you actually have to beat it in order to shape it. So I'm not sure if that's supposed to be his attempted little joke there. Quite possibly. All right, I have the needle, so we're immediately going to turn to the west and head this way. You know, I kind of want to kill this creature just because I want to see what it drops. And I know that that's cruel. I do. But over... Well, actually, it's a little bit further south and then west. And that's where the cave is going to be. All right, you. Come on. And. There we are. Good dash attacks. And I should be able to jump this. Right? Wherever these reeds are means it's a little bit shallow and we can just. There we are. And, yeah, I don't think I've been up in here, so this is going to be interesting. The outpost. I don't see any enemies. I'm also not seeing any items hidden. 
But since there is a cave, could be a little hairy. Anything hiding over here in the corner? No. Nothing up on the ledges either. Okay. I do see some vagrants. We're in the gullet now. And get in there quickly. Trying to knock his guard down. There we are. Or have I been in here just a little bit and then maybe I left? I don't think so. Ooh. Creepy, all these exoskeletons. Item behind the waterfall, item above the waterfall. Anything spawning behind? No. Right, let's run back here then. Get another spearhead, which is good. We can make those profit standards or we can use those other spears, the ones that are significantly more powerful. Now that just drops down. But was there a ledge over here that I could companion climb onto? It seems like I should be able to. There we go. Is that going to be enough? It looks like it should be. What if I... Alright, let's try that again. Go, Cal. I need you to hop down just so you can boost... Oh, right. You can just phase through the wall. <laughs> Got it. Um, hmm. Is there any other way to go? No, how about... That didn't work. Little ledge right here. Any chance that I could get on this? I don't want to spend all my time trying to... Actually, there's a cave behind it, so maybe we do loop around. If we don't, we'll try again. Oh, good thing I turned around. Small scoria, yeah. thank you. Nope. I see ya. Maybe we'll play around with spears a little bit. Except, for some reason, you can't have your lantern out. And this is definitely a lantern area. Ooh, this place might be a little bit bigger than I bargained for. Very open. Lots and lots of items to be found. Tell you what, before we drop down, let's skirt around as much as we can. Just to see if we can get the lay of the land. I'm not seeing anything too dangerous yet. In fact, I don't see anything at all. Oh, just kidding. There's a corb. Corbs aren't too difficult now. Watch it. Watch the ground pound. That's oh, We have some bile behind us. And finish the corb. There we are. And... Oh. More spider. I forget what these are called. I wish I remembered. And rush up there. And we have a spearhead. What else? Another spearhead. Okay, well, if nothing else, should be able to collect lots of spearheads. Sounds like something's behind me. Oh, small scory stash. Turn around, turn around. No offense, but better than you than me, Jokel. Watch my stamina. Nothing super great out of any of these skeletons. Some spearheads, some small scoria stashes. I'm hoping maybe by the end there's something else to have. Oh. There we go. Build up that Ukoto's Guile. Ooh, possibly, and possibly make that jump. Tell you what, let's, let's try it. Yes, excellent. A little bit of spit, that's all right, not too bad. Ah, Craven Remnant, excellent. Even though I did just buy three of them, it's still, still worth it. I really actually like the platforming of this. It can be a little bit strange because you'll find at ledges that you swear you should be able to get on and then it just stops you right in your tracks. But for the most part, right, so you can pin me. That's not good. Ooh. Finish you quickly and then heal. Yo, Cal, you're all the way at the bottom, not being super helpful. And what's over here? Oh, maybe this is actually going to lead me to behind the waterfall. 
I can see that happening since I am climbing. Grab this cautiously. Another spearhead. That actually could be behind the waterfall right there. Before we go there, what's around this bend? Actually, that's it right there. That's going to be the item. So, back here might be the final leg of the cave. And... Oh, did that just... No? Small scoria stash. I really... Oh, yep. Get out of this cave. Get out of this cave. Good. Good dodging. And let's stun. Stun, stun. And that's it. Great. Ooh. Although there's actually an item over here still. So let's get the companion assist. However, we trigger that. Sometimes I just run towards the wall and spam it. And we, even though we haven't even done many quests, we are just about ready to wrap up. Oh, it's a feather too. That is an increase to maximum stamina. It's only plus two, but it is a permanent increase without wasting a talisman. We'll tell you what, let's go grab this item. I'm hoping it's something, whoop, just kidding, wrong way. Hoping it's something worthwhile. And then I think we'll just head back to Vagrant Rest, and from there, we will have to call it an episode. It was right up here, right? There it is. And I'm hoping this is something worth it. The Hushed Remains. Hmm. Broken Tooth Club. A club built by Desperate Hands. I like the look of it. Okay, not bad stun. Many a fighter has turned scrap into slaughter, making up for lost knowledge with innovation. Salarin says, how will we live in the future if we forget the past? Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, well, definitely got some new weapons. We got lots and lots of scoria, and I think it's time to head back to Vagrant Rest. Well, overall, not a lot of progress with anyone's questline. We did find out that it seems Jokel's family is cursed. We found Vaughn's notebook. We know that his brother has already died. So now, next time, we'll have to look for Kala to see if we can get some more information on this curse that seems to be plaguing his family. And then, of course, we have Isla's quest as well. And that'll take us down into the Einarden Reach. But that is going to do it for this episode of Ash. And I hope you're still enjoying because, by golly... I know that I am. I am just having such a great time, and I hope we can get multiplayer working so I can explore this land of Lothiris with you as well. If you have anything you want to add, please join the conversation in the discussion below. But from me and Silverius, we will see you next time. <laughs>